Hey what's up guys, Fracus here, back with another Rust modding tutorial, and today we're going to learn how to make a simple kits plugin. So what this plugin is, is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you allow server owners to set the kits in the config file and what the kits contain. We're also going to allow players to receive and view the kits. We're going to have three commands that uh, players can use, um, get kit and then put the kit name show kit and then, sh then the kit name and then show kits which will show all the kits and the show kit will show all every all the items within the kit and the get kit will give the, the player all the items within that kit we're also going to have a timer or a cooldown on these kits as well um, we're, we're going to be using one hook on command which you should be familiar with by now we're going to write a few custom functions <clears throat> get kit we're going to pass a player through it and a kit id get items a kit and a kit id we're going to write a function um, get time remaining with a passing player through display kit with player and kit ID and display kits and just passing player through. So we can go ahead and get started. This this is a medium level um, Rust modding tutorial. We're going to be using arrays and everything, so nothing too too hard. So we can go ahead and get started here. Um, first of all, we need to I, I, before I did if statements and if if statements it'd be it's more efficient to use switch which I haven't gone over so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that works so you do um, switch and then you put in the variable and then you put brackets around it like a normal if statement so what this does is it takes in the command which remember is gonna be slash get kit or that's that's an example of a command it could be show kit or anything like that so then in the case of get kit we're going to do the, the next uh, block of code and we're gonna, you do it until you get to the end where you break out of it so hopefully that makes sense. Switch and it pretty much just runs through all the cases and sees if that command is equal to anything within that's uh, checking the case so. so in this case of get kit we're going to do um, we're going to go write a function called get kit we're just going to pass a player through it and we're going to pass the argument through it. We did this before so remember argument is an array and that's anything after the command so for example um, kit name get kit kit name is the is the uh, the argument and zero just means the first the first uh, string that comes after the command so we need to write a get kit function uh, actually lowercase I guess and then we're gonna pass player and kit ID. Okay, so we have here um, argument zero. So that's just the the argument. After that, we're going to turn that. We're just going to name it kit ID. But that's this is pretty much matched up player and player. The first argument of that array and kit ID. The first argument of the array will be named kit ID within this uh, get kit function. So. We're going to go down here and we're going to make another array. So var items is equal to get items kit id. Okay. So we're just going to write another function called get items. And we're just going to pass a kit, the kit id through it. And this, uh, this get items will check our config file and Get all the data from there, and then return it to the to this array, this items array. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So we'll make another array called items, and we'll just set it to an array type. And that's just uh, doing the two brackets here is just saying uh, create create an array, but don't store anything into it. Just go ahead and get it ready. And we're going to need a counter as we count through the items. So we'll just do count item is equal to zero sorry out at zero okay so here's the next part we're gonna be we're gonna be reading data through from a config file so while data dot get config this uh, data dot get config you can find that through dot peak it's just one of the uh, one of the objects that come with it so we're gonna get config value and we're gonna name our config simple kits and we're going to do, we're going to name the kit, um, we're going to do the kit thing with kit and then um, kit id and I'll explain this in a second and then um, 
Let's see. Yeah, Adam name. So the next is the Adam name. Plus count Adam. And that's just our counter. And not equal to null. So what this is. Make sure everything's lined up here. Okay, let's see. That's supposed to go right here. Okay, yeah, so I'll explain this now. So, we're pretty much saying while, um, while in the, in the config file, while, the, while there's kits with the kit ID, execute this next statement of code, right? So, and then inside of here we're gonna count item plus plus, that's just adding one to it every time. So we're just gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on uh, doing it until it, it returns null. So we need to look into the uh, config file now. I've already set up all the values, so we're gonna look for kit and kit ID. So the way I set this up is um, here's kit, like it was shown before, and then the kit ID is the second part. So anything after kit is the kit ID. So kit mp5 a4 just gives you one mp5. Um, kit m4 just gives you one m4. Then kit war just gives you all of these. So what we're looking for now is pretty much just uh, kit and the kit ID. So let's go back to our plugin. So while that there while there's a a match, right? So we're gonna we're gonna pass through kit ID. And while that kit ID exists, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and store all the items. So we're gonna store the items into the array. So items, item name. plus count item is equal to data dot get config value and we're just going to look into this config value again simple kits config kit plus kit id item name plus count item okay and what this is doing is if if the if this header exists the kit the kit id so let's say they put in mp5 as, as the argument so it's going to do kit mp5 a4 okay and if, if this exists right here then we're going to look for this and that's what we're doing right here and the count remember the count before is we started at zero so what we're going to do is look at the item name plus that counter zero I'll show you that right here Adam name, count zero. No, actually, right here. Adam name, and then zero. So, and it's looking under that header. So it's looking under the header and looking for the Adam name. So, header, Adam name. And we're going to store that into this items array right here. Okay. So then we're going to do, and we're going to we're going to name it um, Adam name. Uh, count item and that's just zero so this will be item zero all right we're gonna, and we're going to do the amount next so item amount plus count item so this will be the first time around um, this will be zero right count item zero so this will be the item amount and we'll be looking for item amount zero and that's right here and then we'll return a one in that case Hopefully this is making sense to you. Moving on real quick. Alright, get value. Simple kits. Kit. <clears throat> and this is just the header right here. So we have the config config name, the config the config file name, which is right here. Simple kits config. Um the header, which is kit and the kit ID. Then we're going to look at item amount plus item, or item count, count item. So once again we're just looking at this. And what we're doing is, it's going to keep on looking for the um, item names until, it's, uh, until there's no, no more. So in this case, 
it would go through here, zero, the first time it's zero. So it's going to look for item name zero. And this is item name zero. And then it's going to get the name of the item and the amount, and it's going to store it to the array. Then it's going to loop through. It's going to add one to it. Now we're going to look into it this time. It's going to be. It's going to look for item name one, which does not exist. So it's going to be null. And it's going to break out of this for loop. And once we're done, we're just going to return um, items, and that's just the array. So we're going to return items here, and it's going to be stored right here. So now we have an array that stores the items from that kit.